the government has a very important role of one ensuring there is sufficient infrastructure infrastructure for stormwater drainage it will be one of the smart malls in kenya where we are applying technology when it comes to things like uh, parking security getting to know how many people are coming in getting to know where they are going to getting uh, probably even their contacts welcome to the land and property diary your passport to the world of real estate it's not just about buying properties it's about investing in a lifestyle now today we are talking about the mathematics of the cost of building a house what does it take before you break ground and seek financing i am your host Naomi Mbuvi. welcome to the show Diana. Maybe you can uh, introduce yourself, tell us what you do. My name is Diana Musioka. I'm a quantity surveyor by profession, uh, running my own practice, uh, Epic Value Consultants Limited, and uh, currently also serving as a honorary registrar in AAK. So what does a quantity surveyor do? Quantity surveyor in, uh, I would say in lay term, is uh, we are more or less accountants in building construction. However, we come in to tell you the cost of construction in terms of budgeting. Uh, we also come in in terms of legal matters, uh, trying to get to contracts in place, and we also run the projects through in terms of telling you when and how you'd pay the contractors and uh, trying to manage the variations into the projects. We basically come in, in b before you start construction and. Uh, throughout construction. Speaking also of uh, constructing your home, what kind of budget should one work with? Assuming I'm building a basic three-bedroom house, for instance, uh, back at home in Shanks. I would pick a model out of this. Uh, say you're building a 150 square meter house uh, and you're in a red cotton soil, a flat area, and you're just doing a basic structure with uh, simple finishes. So the costs would range between 25 and it would go way upwards uh, depending on your kind and level of finishes. But in this case, because we are talking about simple and basic 25 to 35 Kenya shillings per square meter, you're talking about three to four million kind of a budget of a house. So why is it important to engage uh, professionals when building your home and is it cheaper? Starting from, uh, you know, the first principles, an architect is coming in to save you with a lot. You're giving him the brief and he's putting the dream on paper for you. At that point, you've already given the budget. The QS is already there telling you, based on the budget you've given, uh, the size of the house might not work, or these kind of finishes might not work. Uh, the architect is also pushing approvals for you. This is a process that you might not want to do as an individual. And case in, uh, in scenario is that you're having a sloppy site, the, the kind of construction you'd have is not the same as the person who is having a, a good terrain. And the engineer comes in way early to tell you do a trial pit, do a geotech based on where you are. Uh, and in that case, they would determine what kind of foundations would go to your kind of site. The QS comes in and combines these two and uh, comes up with the, what we call the bill of quantities. And where you're talking about now in terms of cost saving is that uh, not everyone goes into construction getting in a contractor to fill in the bill of quantities and assigning a contractor on site. And the market that we are, we are here by discussing is that most of the people usually go directly to the contractors and just tell them I want labor. So in that case then I would come in as a QS and give you the schedule of materials, in which case you'd have a way of telling at foundation level I need X number of bags of cement, X, uh, the number of, of feet of uh, natural stone for the foundation, uh, depending on the foundation that you're doing. So that in itself reduces wastage. Bringing in professionals is always a plus. So I wouldn't say we are expensive, I would say we are actually cheaper for you to keep your expensive product that you have invested in. What are the common mistakes a lot of people make when constructing their homes? In as much as you want to bring in a professional is that you also need to know what you want. You also need to get involved in the process. That's the only way you'll get to appreciate what, what, what is going on here. And in also copy-pasting. Like I said, uh, my brief can never be your brief. Never pick anyone else's plan to be your own. You, you need to let the architects do their work. You need to let the professionals do their work because that's why you hired them in the first place. So your, your, your individualism comes out in the design that you're bringing out. Again, in trying to run into construction too fast. Plan before you start. And in fact, take more time planning. Take more time researching. Dana, thank you so much. That was an extremely informative chat that we had. So we sought to find out the costs of construction materials in this country. And we walked into a hardware store in Nairobi for these prices. 
Karibu sana Agi, tell us about yourself and what you do. My name is Isaac Nesvangoy. Uh -huh. I work with Panjo Hardware in Karen. Uh -huh. We sell building material. Uh -huh. We sell in wholesale and retail prices, uh -huh. depending on the item. Basically, on the small items, the fittings uh -huh. and the boards, uh -huh. we sell in retail prices. Uh -huh. But we have really good prices in as far as cement and steel products are concerned. concerned. Is there a demand uh, currently as we are speaking? At the moment, mm -hmm. demand in Meshuka Kidogo mm -hmm. because the prices keep going up mm -hmm. every time. But uh, we can't complain. Let's talk about the prices of items, construction material in particular. Kama ni simiti, kama ni ballast, kama ni uh, sand. Mm -hmm. What are the prices uh, that you have? And are you doing them on retail? Uh, or are you doing them on wholesale? On the standard number cement, 32.5, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the prices cost between 720 to 800 per bag, mm -hmm. depending on the brand. Mm -hmm. And the bag is how many kilos? It's 50 kgs mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. uh, the ballast we sell in tonnage, mm -hmm. uh, 1800 per ton. Mm -hmm. On the sand, we are doing 18, 1850 per ton. Mm -hmm. uh, on the steel product, depends on the sizes. Mm -hmm. We have the D8 which goes for 700 currently, mm -hmm. D10 we are doing at 1050, mm -hmm. D12 1540, D16 should be 2400 or there about. What are the challenges you have? The prices. Kulingana vile economy naenda. If the steel prices go up, mm -hmm. our sales go down. Mm -hmm. But so far so good. At least we complain some. Mesh wires. Zinatumika for the same purposes. Kama easy to? Eh, boards. Boards mostly zinatumika na finishing. There is no wire. Uh, the only board mm -hmm. to be a kwa foundation mm -hmm. ama ni, ni the marine board. Oh, okay. You mean I nails? You have different sizes and different lengths. Yeah. Uh, what are the different uses? Because I can see we have different, different. These are the roofing nails. Uh -huh. You only mm -hmm. use them on the roof. Uh, so, it's going to kufunika the, uh, the roof. The, the roof. Uh -huh. These are the U-nails. You okay. use them while fencing. Uh -huh. In a ukiweka sengenge around, eh. you hit this to the post so that it sticks. Okay. You don't have to bend the kawaida nail. Eh. Oh, so that's why you can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. You can't do it. This one makes the work easier. Asante, yeah. thank you so much for the insights. We wish you all the best in business. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, there you have it. I hope you have learned as much as I have with that informative piece. Now, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we're talking all matters landreds. We'll be back shortly. Thank you.